parade tomorrow. I drove away from the Capitol toward the stately Supreme Court building. And right away, my lovely Lincoln attracted as much attention as if it were leading a parade. I followed the stands along Pennsylvania Avenue, past the National Gallery of Art, where you can see some of the world's finest art treasures, and then by the Washington Monument. And I thought how perfectly my new Lincoln fitted into the beautiful setting of this lovely city. It started to snow, so I put the top up and drove to where the parade will end, at the White House, where the president, the vice president, and their guests will review the parade. As I started back, I was reminded of something I'd noticed, that from the number of Lincolns in Washington, more and more of the most important people were driving the finest car, Lincoln. For example, later that evening when I arrived at the Carlton Hotel for dinner with friends, the doorman complimented me on my lovely Lincoln. Later, he told me that with all the social activities in Washington these days, he had noticed so many more people were arriving in New Lincoln. And as I was standing with my friends at the entrance of the hotel, I saw evidence of this myself. I was convinced, as I am wherever I go, that Lincoln stands out as unmistakably the finest in the fine car field. This is the Continental Mark II. Big and impressive, but with no bulk, no unnecessary ornamentation, just the sweep of wonderfully clean lines, lines that are distinctive from the slim top to that famous Continental rear deck, lines that have a leanness, a lowness, lines that give the Continental Mark II the feeling of motion and the poised beauty of a classic. In its engineering, every Continental asserts with final authority that America can produce quality second to none. And because this is a limited edition car, each Continental can be constructed with meticulous care, painstaking attention, with the most exacting craftsmanship. In the interior, for example, rich fabrics and imported leathers. In the finish, multiple coats of hand-rubbed lacquer. And when you drive the Continental Mark II, you know this car will do anything you ask of it. And do it so well, you feel it's almost a part of you. And you feel a great sense of security, too, of confidence. The Continental Mark II is smooth and quiet always, and on the open road, like riding with the wind. The Continental Mark II, it has no equal. It is simply and beautifully America's finest car. There's the 1958 Lincoln. Clean, aristocratic, modern styling, truly distinctive. There's the Cadillac. The styling concept is completely different, old-fashioned. Hardly distinguishable from the rest of the General Motors line. And here's the Lincoln from the front. Again, clean-lined, modern, and distinctive. But look at the Cadillac in comparison. Fussy and very similar to other General Motors cars. Here's the Lincoln from the rear. And the Cadillac. From whatever angle you view these cars, Lincoln's styling is obviously more distinctive. All right. What do you think? Well, what I think isn't the point. What does the buyer think? Let me show you this report. Here are the 1958 car owner's opinions as to which car is most attractive. The Lincoln vote is 94%. Cadillac, only 55%. Meaning that nearly half the Cadillac owners are doubtful of the new car they purchased. We'll start right here with a look inside the Lincoln. The interior, beautifully appointed. And notice the roominess. You see, there's the luxurious spaciousness people expect in a fine car. The Cadillac, definitely smaller in the dimensions that actually count. Watch this. You see? Those measuring poles fit between the Lincoln windows at shoulder height. Now watch.
You see how far the poles protrude on the Cadillac? That shows how much more shoulder room the Lincoln has. In the front, four inches more shoulder room. In the rear, six and a half inches more shoulder room in the Lincoln. All right. What about craftsmanship and body construction? We've got them beat on that, too. Here's the Lincoln body, featuring the new, modern, uniframe design. As you probably noticed, the new Lincoln body is built in a completely new manufacturing facility, clean, modern, with all new tooling and more efficient quality control techniques. This again shows Lincoln out in front of Cadillac, which is still being built in an old, antiquated plant. It all adds up to superior quality and craftsmanship for the Lincoln buyer. See what I mean? This year, two Chryslers have been making history. First, there's the Chrysler 300, pace car that led the pack at the Indianapolis 500 on Memorial Day. Pace setter that won three out of the five major sports car rallies it entered. Daniel Boone Rally, Abominable Snow Rally, Virginia Reel Rally, the Chrysler 300 with deep bucket seat comfort, a sports car interior and performance few others can match. Then, there's the pace setting Chrysler Newport, the economical way to take the big, beautiful step ahead. Every bit a full-size Chrysler. This Newport sedan is the biggest value in the medium price field. There are 18 options for interior trim, big, easy to enter doors, lots of leg room in both front and rear. A big car in every way. See and drive both of these beautiful face centers. Economical Chrysler Newport. Sports bred Chrysler 300 at your Chrysler dealers now. Ambassador, the now car that gives you the rich driving experience of the red carpet ride. Ambassador, full-size luxury created for today. With road cushioning suspension, velvet tone performance, the luxury of the red carpet ride. Uncompromising selection of automobiles with the red carpet ride. Priced for people who want their luxury now. Every year, Motor Trend magazine evaluates all the new cars before naming its car of the year. They look for Outstanding styling, great engineering, and ingenuity of design. This year, Motor Trend gave Pontiac the Car of the Year award for the fourth time. In fact, Pontiac's the only car maker ever to receive the Car of the Year award four times. We suspect the bumper of the year had a lot to do with it. Seems like everything those Pontiac engineers touch turns to great. Take some steel. Forge it with skill. Wrinkle it with style. Make an automobile. in the making of an automobile. One special factor is far more important than any other. That factor is engineering know-how. The kind of engineering know-how that sets Dodge far apart in its field. And here's what I mean. Only Dodge engineering brings you that new look of lowness. Combined with big, wide door openings and stretch out roominess inside. Only Dodge Engineering brings you seats that swing out to meet you, swing in to seat you. 
Only Dodge Engineering brings you the ease of push-button torque flight drive, the greatness of torsion air ride, the safety of total contact brakes. Folks, only Dodge Engineering know-how brings you so many finer features and exclusive advantages. And there's just one way for you to find out how much these features mean to you. And that's to slide behind the wheel of a 59 Dodge yourself. This week for sure. Hello, I'm Truman Bradley speaking for your local Chrysler dealer. And tonight I have a real challenge for you because we believe that 15 minutes here can change 15 years of car buying habits. And that's especially true if you now drive one of the two major competitive cars in Chrysler's price class. In fact, every day, more and more folks just like you are making the big switch to the exciting new 56 Chrysler. But let's spend a Saturday morning with the owners of this sleek new power style Chrysler, and I'll show you some of the reasons why. Notice how your neighbors look with admiration as you drive out in your new Chrysler. And no wonder, from the rakish flare of its new flight-swept rear fenders, right up to its bold but elegant new front styling, the new Power Style Chrysler emphasizes the forward look of power in motion. Looks like it's still moving, even when it stops. Some design. And now let's go with the missus for the Saturday shopping. Well, here's a young man who's mighty impressed. Wow, another new Chrysler. That rear end looks just like a jet plane. He knows what he's talking about. That Chrysler engineers have adapted the most modern jet plane designs in this new Chrysler. Everywhere people notice you. I'll park it for you. Get a real kick out of that push button driving. What a car. Well, now you begin to understand some of the reasons why America's most smartly different car is being seen in all the smartest places. But slip behind the wheel of a new power style Chrysler and get the whole story for yourself. Just be prepared to make the switch to Chrysler, because I promise you, 15 minutes here can change 15 years of habits. Why not stop in at your Chrysler dealers tomorrow? Take the keys and see what driving pleasure really is. is improved visibility, both of the instrument panel and the road ahead. Most women will agree that parking is the most taxing part of driving, but not with the wrist twist. Still relaxed and comfortable, she literally dials her way into this tight spot. The test trip is over, and she takes her last look at the wrist twist controls. Or is it? You never can tell what surprises automakers may have in store just around the corner. Spring weather across the nation has beckoned millions of families to the open road, where memories of a long, tedious winter are quickly wafted away by generous doses of warm, fragrant air. And as anyone knows, fresh country air generates king-sized appetites, which seem to grow all out of proportion at the sight of a country store. 
It can be the source of all kinds of delicious and different regional foods, local breads, meats, and fresh fruits you can't ordinarily get at home. This kind of spur-of-the-moment shopping and eating along the way